Okay guys, so here we go again. Same tanks you've just seen in the last video. Nothing's changed, uh, but I am on the second one and that shot's showing me that I didn't paint the top. So as usual, substrate first, most important. You need a good base, a solid base. I'm going to be using quite a bit of aqua soil in this scape, so I don't need to go too heavy on it, but oh, just chuck it in a little bit more there. Push it around, flatten it out. So for this one, I'm using Tropica Aquarium soil. It's really good stuff. I just, I've always had really good success with it. Yeah, so as I've, as I've said there, about an inch on top of the initial substrate is, is a good level. Whoa, extreme close up of some wood. Not sure why, um, but yeah, some good detail there, look. So I've decided to go for another triangle composition, but I'm trying to give the impression of like a fallen tree or something like that and um, a root system or you know you, you'll see in a minute and i'm pointlessly flicking little bits of soil left and right for no reason at all doing nothing Oh yeah, I spotted one little layer on the left there that just needed something filling in and this little piece really sort of fit the bill. And adding some more aquasaur to the back area just so it raises the plants there a little bit. Not completely necessary, but I just felt that... You... Ah yeah, so when the dwarf sage goes in, this is dwarf sage, when that goes in it will just stand out a little bit more because the back area is raised, it will you know rise over the top of the back of the wood and look really nice. This plant's really good by the way. It's, it, it grows anywhere with any lighting and it just spreads really fast. It can get huge to be honest, but you're okay to trim it wherever you want as well and it still keep growing. Very fast carpeting plant. Just splitting off there, the, any leaves that I don't think are suitable or damaged. Just keep picking a few key areas I think where it should be placed. You have to bear in mind with this plant it gets big fast so I'm being selective in where I place it. Cracks and crevices work really well. Nice big chunk there, look. Okay, so obviously this plant here, it's grown immersed, but um, so it looks a little bit different at the moment as to when it converts to its submerged state. It's got these really nice purple tinges that don't actually stay on the plant after a while, but you know, can't help that. But it does go really green, really nice texture to the foreground. I'm just chucking this little rock down here so that when I pour the water in, it's not gonna disturb the soil too much. There you go, look, so you can see how clear it's keeping the water. see the plant but that's okay because in a few weeks time when I come back show you a little a bit of an update all these plants in the background here will just be overtaking that whole area and it should look really good 
nice short plants in the front and then big overlapping stem plants in the back. Bit of the Ludwigia was red there, just to add a little bit more detail, bit of an accent of red. Keep it interesting. The high of polysmizma. Oh, we can't forget the Bacoba Manamana. Pearlweed in the front here is always a really good idea. It grows fast, very easy to trim, can plant it anywhere. And as you know, I love my Limnophilia. Absolute favorite plant. In fact, at some point, I'm probably just gonna do a planted tank just full of Limnophilia. Got to have your duckweed in as usual. You know, you, you, if you don't put plant, uh, floating plants in, you're really doing yourself a discredit because in a no filter tank, they're essential. Okay, this is a little bit different from what I usually do, but because it's a dark tank, you know, with dark wood, dark substrate, you don't get a lot of reflection from the light, which means that I need to sort of push back the duckweed to ensure that the light breaks through even more. So the first water change, as you can see, it's a little bit murky, but uh, that's to be expected on the first day, especially with a scape like this with the bog wood and the aqua soil. Just taking out a little bit there, clean up the sides. And yeah, then filling it back, back up and uh, that's pretty much it for now, so um, I'll just leave you with the final shots of the tank and then I'll uh, update you next time when it's all grown in a little bit more. So thanks for watching, make sure you guys click subscribe as usual, really enjoying this tank and uh, yeah look at that. <laughs>